Welcome back. VP versus PSG LGD. Suns fan here with Cinderin. I don't know what I'm watching right now. It no. looks like pub picks. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is against Tide, right? True. Yeah. Uh, can't crack and shell. So you can ulti Tide and just kill him in stuns. It's pretty cool. Yeah, see the spin here? Actually, looks wider than normal. He's only level three, so it doesn't have the talent. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> looks really weird. A nice double Earth Spike from Save. But here comes the Spirit Siphon keeping Y alive. Just a little bit longer with the Fairy Fire as well. But the right clicks from Save, more than enough. I, I think... Him having 16 CS here, minute four, is yeah. really good. Uh, I, oh, we have oh. the charge, double leap into the Star Storm with the arrow as well, but GBK pops that Fairy Fire, and that looks like it's going to be enough to live. You also Hit. go mid. <laughs> I have yet to go mid, actually, uh, but I'm being inspired right here, right now. And Zhao Eight in the trees. Well, it looks like the Hex is going to find the poor Marana here, so that's going to be an easy cleanup crew for VP, and Zhao Eight has to charge out with so Oof. much damage stolen. Sunray as well. He's ticking down a little bit with that Fire Spirit, he but... He might have died of the Fire Spirit. Land. I think he missed, right? Yeah, Faith Beyond able to take the Bounty Rune here. He's going to oh, pop his ult. I... Oh! Yep. That's just hit him. Uh! Yeah, just use Decay. That's your. That's actually your attack animation, the Decay. Just hit. Gonna there we go. Continue to chase, but here comes GPK now with that Static Link. He's getting charged from the base from Zhao8. <laughs> this is so much brawling right now. As Faith Beyond really wants this kill, he has completely gotten dumpstered here. And now they're going to continue on as Y was trying to just help out his teammate. Will die as well. This is a 6-0 start for VP. I guess so. I think. Oh, there's the charge and exactly what you were talking about. The instant cancel from save. You can see it from a mile away. Gets off another strike, but Nightfall is here, like we can see. Surrounding Zhao 8 now. Draining that mana. And down he goes. Very, very sad Spear Breaker game. As we're going to see, a Tier 1 tower taken by VP. And yeah, they're just taking this methodically like any other game. Obviously, they want to use this as much practice as possible for TI. Whereas LGD, you know, they have a stand-in, so they can kind of experiment a bit. As we're going to see, Omni Slash here with the Nether Strike combined. That's the There's first the kill. kill of the game for PSG LGD. And it's a trade for their Undying. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> That's insane. My right, Faith Beyond. Gonna get mana drained oh. big time here. Gets off the tombstone, but looks like he's gonna die shortly after the egg on the other side. No, looks like he shall survive for now, but there's the egg being taken out thanks to that enormous spin. Nice nether strike onto the razor. So a couple pretty valuable kills here for LGD. And now the charge continues from Zhao Wei, but it's on an illusion as Nightfall. Still relatively low, but has the Aegis, of course. Gets one more doppelganger off onto the other side of the creeps here. And looks like he'll be fine. Zhao Wei online. I guess so. I don't know what happened there, but that was good. Oh, for oh, get on to it. two. Beautifully done. And there's the Blade Fury again with that shard. Just seeing the power of it as Nightfall gets off the Diffusal Blade. And he will again survive another engagement. I think literally always Bulldoze cooldown, although that was slightly nerfed, I think, in the last mm -hmm. patch. He but hits pretty hard. Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay, I'll say... 100%, as you can tell, out of the one game that we've seen. <laughs> Of Spirit Breaker. Arrow? Nice arrow. Great setup here. Ravage is there, though. GPK trying to do as much damage as he can with that BKB activated. Looks like he's going to be just fine. And the Ravage has saved the day for Virtus Pro. Nice Three turnaround. deaths. Great turnaround. Okay. The thumbnails and the sure. descriptions in Dota are never wrong. So you get plus 20. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Cinder. You're Great welcome. analysis, as mm -hmm. always. Uh, so it was the Charger Darkness movement speed for Zhao 8 here. Oh, he stopped his charge, I think. And he's a little bit scared, but this Blade Fury is just doing so much damage. A force step, and he actually gets the Ravage off on absolutely nothing, and then dies right afterwards. But Ame has to be careful. He's being walked like a dog, or a he cow, ulti, or whatever he, he is. no damage. Yep, there's the Omni Slash, but like you said, not a whole lot of damage to follow up. A lot of illusions there to tank it up, but there's the Blade Fury. Actually takes out Razor, and now attempting to run away, but the Earth Spike's gonna connect, and that is gonna be a big kill for VP, but they bought back on the Titan. He has no Ravage, though. But from LGD side, all they've lost is Juggernaut, and likely the Phoenix actually will live here. As we're gonna see the second rush taken out, and I don't think LGD are gonna be able to get here. The arrow is coming out, so they'll scout it at the very least. Faith Beyond in the vicinity gets a tombstone off, but he's gonna be 
applied a lot of pressure from Jinkyu. Claire. They're going to jump in Jinkyu. Nightfall takes the Aegis. It's a snatch, so LGD technically gets Roche. But DM is going to fall, and that's no buyback for him. Egg on the high ground, but they can see it. Will they be able to take it out in time? It's going to be close. Double kill now for Ame. He is getting out of control, but it is Nightfall chasing him. He has to be pretty careful here. Oh, that's a good charge. Yeah, that is a big charge. Hits two people there into the nether strike, and Lion's going to take a tumble. So it's a three for one in favor of LGD because the, the charge or the, the passive only applies to creeps, not the illusions. So yeah. with that talent, that'll help out a lot. I agree. Oh, uh, shall it? Spotted. Uh -oh. He's hexed, but they have sentry this time. Uh, oh, the Mist Impale as well. And there's another one, and he outruns that one too. Yeah. Can he and charge something? Charge. Can he charge something? Ah, uh, he's very oh. slow, but there's the Yule's cancel with the static link. Finger of death that should count as a charge for Mr. Save. Ame um, split pushing top. Glyph. All right. Yeah, we see Ame doing as much as he can, but the fortification comes about. And it looks like this will at the very least be a melee rax. Wait. Okay, they were timing the ages, so they knew. And the illusions? They actually aren't getting. No, they're not going to get it. And Ame had a really good read there. He went wow. back at the exact right time before Lion would have been able to find a hex on him in the base. Mm -hmm. He just spun TP'd out. Oh, GPK. All right, that was a blink in from Ame. Nightfall not able to that is capitalize on this. That's a tombstone oh. down, though. That was not a very good Razor link, though. Jugger actually has damaged this fight. Yeah, but Faith Beyond is pretty much out of mana. Has to pop his BKB. They do get the melee racks. The charge in from Zhao 8 is there. And now. The FPS drops because of Doppelganger as per norm. You can see the spin very, very effective right now. Jawei still with that BKB. No, that's his shard, actually. Charge is not up for another couple seconds. He's going to get ravaged, though, and taken out, and still no buyback on him. That is a huge presence gone for LGD as VP are just diving now. That is a second death, this time for Faith Beyond. So it turns into a 5v3, which means VP can just continue on here. This is definitely easy two lanes now for VP. They can't get the third. There is a 2-2 two two top. But, yeah, the win probability all over the place there. As oh, Ame is going to get spotted. The instant hex from save with the burst damage of the finger and GPK's damage overall. That is a dead juggernaut for 100 seconds. There are a couple heroes smoke, but they're on the other side of the map. So they're actually going to concede, not the game, but mega creeps for now and try to have one more fight with uh, the old juggernaut. We'll see what happens. And Lotus Orb on Jin Q, not really going to help that much here. As the tower is just being pressured here from VP overall. And they're going to go on top of Faith Beyond now in the fountain. He has to pop his BKB. GPK gets it off a pretty good static link. And that is with a <coughs> refresher, actually. So his ult is uh, decimating right now. Oh, my God. Nice charge damage. in from Zhao Wei. They're able to find save. At the very least, he buys back into the game. Remember, Ame is not back for another 10 seconds still. As another charge comes through. A big ravage on the back line, though. Looks like Kingslayer just gets off the egg. Zhao 8 not able to finish him off in time and will die shortly after. So only one tier 4 tower down right now. And yeah, LGD looks like they're going to fall in game number one here. But at least in very exciting fashion because, or entertaining, I maybe. Maybe they can it. hold here. You think so? Now DM's going to jump in with the Anchor Smash. There is the Omni Slash. It's actually being mitigated a lot by this Yule Scepter. But there's the Blade Fury still doing a lot of damage thanks to the, the shard and whatnot. DM still will live. So another tier 4 tower falls. And with the Agnum Scepter on Juggernaut. So he has Swift Slash as well as Faith Beyond takes a tumble. And this should be it. I believe the leveler actually, actually got rid of it. So the Ancient will fall. They cannot hold. They are not calling GG. The Ancient will fall. And down goes PSG LGD with another Spirit Breaker, Cinderin. Yes. What do you think? Uh, I, I agree with what they said. I think it's a better Spirit Breaker game. It's well, the, People just haven't caught on yet. These that's, pro players, so-called pro players. Honestly, Faith Beyond, that's a fair Getting point. pressured into He's the dive. Almost gets the fine. Burrow Strike off. Trying to turn this around a little bit. Kingslayer is very healthy, but not after that Illuminate first comes blood. through. Either way, First Blood goes the way of Virtus Pro. You farm camps, you push waves. He is positioned for this game, but... Oh, oh my. my god! Relatively even, I suppose, as the stacks are being starting to take out here between both Gyro and the Coddle. But GPK trying to counteract this a bit. 
Hasn't found the big ones quite yet. Looks like the gyro's going to Oh, he doesn't have to simulate ready. Zhao Wei gets the charge. Another strike. Not quite there. GPK, Solar Bind is keeping him very slow. Into Roche Pit you go, and oh. he's going to have to get denied. Nicely done from GPK. Really nice. Oh, we Good have three, four charges again on Gyrocopter here. Say <laughs> Fall downing the corpse. All right. Looks like he's mega dead as we're going to have another Faith Beyond Death in the bot lane. Triple Null has become popular among mid coddles because it allows you to one-shot a creep wave with max level Illuminate. Mm -hmm. He does it even as position four. So really valuing that ability to just shove out an entire wave in one cool. go, and it is very good. Good attempt there from Faith Beyond. He's going to get off the epicenter, though, onto GPK. He's going to use nice the on the other side. Moon. Why? He's just going to be taken out very shortly by these illusions in all likelihood. He's trying to run away. Looks like he will finally fall. So it's a one-for-one one support for support. There's the disruption, and now VP completely surrounding Zhao 8, but there's the Burrow Strike from Faith Beyond. And the Rupture into a Chronosphere. Not the greatest combo in the world, but Nightfall's going to, at the very least, try to get Faith Beyond, and he does so. And away Zhao 8 goes. All right, Smoke while Zhao 8's already charging here. Gets off that Bulldoze. Save is going to get charged into the Nether Strike and brought down quite easily. Now DM is in a lot of trouble. Last words there. Solar Bind. Gets silenced. Yeah, he is mega dead. There are some reinforcements on the other side now. They're actually going to just let him die here. Yep. He's been totally uncontested because Xiao Wei is just an attention sponge in this game. Mm -hmm. Everything is about where Spirit Breaker going, what's he doing next. And he does it while Ooh, finding Oh, they're going to run right into him, though. Caster Curse is real. And this is going to be way too much damage yeah. to withstand for Ame. Xiao Wei didn't do, make a move in 20 seconds, and there you go. <laughs> then they found True. someone else. Oh, Burrow Strike not going to Shadow Demon. Is why he's in the vicinity as well, so he's going to get some int out of this at the very least. Nope. Blood Right, though. Yet. Onto a couple. Looks like it'll connect. And another death here. So it's a one for one in this little engagement here. But the egg is going to be popped. Oh, no Chrono quite yet. Faith Beyond trying to get off the Epicenter. Will do so. Nightfall now on the run, but the stun is there from Kingslayer's egg. And down goes Faith Beyond. Three for one as they continue to try to take out the Void. Zhao 8. I'm surprised they didn't try for the ult there. Yeah, well, Kingslayer now left to fend for himself as Jin Q will just get the casual right click into death. Nice yield to secure the tower here from GVK, and then he turns into Little Piggy. Piggy. Almost has an item we haven't seen on Coddle this tournament, I think. He's Agonyms. going for the Aghanim Scepter, so we'll get the Ignis fat to us. Ignis Fatus back at it again. Zhao Wei's going to get a successful charge. Not going to end up going for the Nether Strike, though, as Nightfall. Okay. Like a Corona. That that a lot to. of that damage. Yeah, he's, he's super dead. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, man, action all over the place. Faith Beyond in a 1v2 will not be getting out of this alive. And now Ame, he's still in the jungle, despite having... Oh, this Illumina's going to hurt. Time in numbers. Yeah. <laughs> You could just see death coming from a mile away. Yeah. It's honestly pretty challenging to play Shadow Demon in this game. You need to protect the right heroes at the right time. You never know when Spirit Break is going to strike. You're going to go in for Gyro. The jungle. Yep. The Chronosphere onto two. Ignis Fatus on the side. Can they get this kill before he gets this lifesteal? It's only a Morbid Mask. He's stuck in place thanks to the Rupture. That's a lot of lifesteal thanks to the Aghanim Scepter. But they should be able to blow him up. But it's going to be a one for one for the position ones. But VP are falling. Big time. Three for one now is a 5k net worth lead for PSG LGD. This is going to be a full team wipe. That did not go as planned for VP. He needs very little help to even kill cores at this point with how strong he is. Charge on Shadow Another Demon. Charge, but they see him Good with that reaction. sentry. Yep, and Nightfall now trying to pursue. We see the Lotus double Yule Scepter. Zhao Wei looks to be just fine. Faith Beyond actually uses Epicenter there. There's a Chronosphere onto two. They really want that Coddle. Can they take him out? It looks like that's going to be a resounding yes with the Egg to help out to end up getting another CC here for Mr. Sand King. So a nice start to this fight for VP. Now Ame is going to take the brunt of the damage here. He has to stand and fight as Zhao Wei, like you said, just a one-man army. But he is getting bursted down with Nightfall's right click. She's doing so much. Really Ame nice. does get out with that Aegis on Silencer. You have to get there at level 25. Yeah, you need to get level 25. You never know. Yeah. Even the, just the AOE last word in general is also really powerful. Oh, Ame eggs. just running right in. Here comes the BKB and the Chronosphere. Global Silence to follow. My goodness. They just deleted Ame. It was a 1v1. Well, 1v0, really, because he couldn't move. Uh, it really was a 2v0 because Nightfall had double damage. They don't feel scared. They're prepared for this move to happen from LGD and just immediately just get that one-man Chrono out. And the Global Silence can't save him with the double damage running. Hex available for Caudal here. We'll use it to run away. 
Epi. Will it be enough, though? Yep, Epicenter with the Brush Strike. But nice that, Lotus. Lotus Orb applied. My goodness. Faith Beyond was not expecting that. Aether Remnant will connect yet again, and Faith Beyond will likely take a fall here with Jin Ku to follow. So just like that, it's based very close to a team wipe. Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that. I don't. Oh, that's a nice chrono. On to two with the Sunray there. Two supports dead in the blink of an eye. So Nightfall has the Daedalus now, Aegis, and Shard. So his time walk is a ridiculous range. And he has the little reverse time walk action if he wants to and use it. backtrack, which is nice against Caudal. Indeed. Has a Lotus Orb applied, so Zhao oh is not going to go, oh What? <laughs> Faith Beyond is no longer here. That was a deletion like I've never seen. Nightfall. Gonna get Hex. Here comes the Egg, though. The buyback onto the Sand King now is... Oh, the Chronosphere on top of the Egg. Gyrocopter taking a beating. Do they have enough damage to actually take him out before? Yes. No BKB for you. 84 seconds on the deck. No buyback for Ame at all. We do get the Shadow Demon and the Aegis to boot, but Nightfall is just gonna continue on its rampage here. Ignis Fatsis is somehow up again. What is the cooldown of this freaking spell? Nightfall doesn't care. We'll reverse Time Walk back and start hitting some buildings. Well, the cool is 60, but you can refresh it with... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Double kill Nightfall. He is online. Yeah, that would be another nerf to Fountain. You would love that. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. kind of counterintuitive. Either way, two barracks now, two set of racks, I should say, for VP. I mean, they were in a good position in this game. They just got outplayed. Like, VP have just taken a couple of incredibly good team fights. Right. Shall we? All right. Global Silence is there. Gets off the Nether Strike, but it's not enough to kill Kingslayer. Gets off the Lotus Orb now as Nightfall. Just continuing on. He's just going to beat down Jowie quite easily. Now a Rupture onto Ame. He is BKB. Has to stand his ground. The Satanic is keeping him alive for quite a while, but the Chronosphere is there. And it's just too much to deal with. Faith Beyond does end up getting the Epicenter off, but looks like the GGs are called as VP take this two.